First of all, what is paleontology? Paleontology is the study of ancient life, from dinosaurs to prehistoric plants, mammals, fish, insects, fungi, and even microbes. Fossil evidence reveals how organisms changed over time and what our planet was like long ago. While studying paleontology, we often see depictions of animals, plants, and environments from long ago. These illustrations are called paleoart. Paleoart is any original artistic work that attempts to depict prehistoric life according to scientific evidence. Works of paleoart might be representations of fossil remains or imagined depictions of the living creatures and their ecosystems. Who draw, paint, carve, or in any other way creates paleoart is called paleoartist. This video is about one of them. This video is about. Julio Lacerda's Paleo Art. Both illustrator and graphic designer, Julio Lacerda got into paleo art at the age of 17. Wishing to bridge the creativity of reconstructing prehistoric animals and the essence of wildlife documentaries, he seeks to represent dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals as complex and realistic living beings in both appearance and behavior, being protagonists of casual scenes. His work has been published and shown at several countries like Japan, United Kingdom, USA as well as his home country, Brazil. Main theme, megafauna. The term megafauna is used to refer to the diversity of giant mammals that lived in the Pleistocene, about 1.6 million years to 11,000 years ago, and that are currently practically extinct. Now let's enjoy Julio Lacerda's paleoar. It is an extinct genus of Entelodont artiodactyl endemic to North America during the Eocene and Oligocene epochs, existing for approximately 9.1 million years. Its fossils are most common in the White River formation of the Great Plains, but it has also been found in the John Day Basin of Oregon and the Transpecos area of Texas. Australopithecus afarensis it's an extinct species of Australopithecine which lived from about 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago in the Pliocene of East Africa. The first fossils were discovered in the 1930s, but major fossil finds would not take place until the 1970s. Afarensis had a tall face, a delicate brow ridge, and prognathism. The living size of A. afarensis is debated, with arguments for and against marked size differences between males and females. Barinasucos. Its name means Barina's crocodile in reference to where the type material was found, is an extinct genus of Sebacid mesoeucrocodilian. Its fossils have been found in Middle Eocene Age rocks of the Divisadero Largo Formation of Argentina, Middle Miocene Age rocks of the Apuro Formation of Peru, and Middle Miocene Age rocks of the Perangula Formation of Venezuela. It's an extinct genus of astropotheroid mammals that lived in South America during the Middle Miocene. The type species is H. castanidae, found in sediments of the La Victoria Formation, part of the Honda Group in the Department of Tolima in Colombia. It's an extinct genus of cynodonts that lived in what is now southern Brazil during the Triassic period. The genus is monotypic, containing only this species that is known from two specimens, consisting of two partial skulls and some badly preserved parts of the postcranium. Both specimens were recovered from the Pinheiros Chinica sequence, part of the Santa Maria super sequence of the Piranha Basin. Castoroides oyoensis. It's an extinct genus of enormous, bear sized beavers that lived in North America during the Pleistocene. Two species are currently recognized C. dilophilus in the southeastern U.S. and C. ohioensis in the rest of its range. Species of castoroids were much larger than modern beavers. Their average length was approximately 1.9 meters, 6.2 feet, and they could grow as large as 2.2 meters, 7.2 feet. The weight of the giant beaver could vary from 90 kilograms, 198 pounds, to 125 kilograms, 276 pounds. Calicoterium It's an extinct clade of herbivorous perissodactyl mammals that lived in North America, Eurasia, and Africa from the Middle Eocene until the early Pleistocene. Unlike modern perissodactyls, calicotheres had clawed feet. They had longer forelimbs and shorter hind limbs. Signus falconeri. The giant swan, 
is an extinct, very large swan known from Middle Pleistocene age deposits from Malta and Sicily. Its dimensions are described as exceeding those of the living mute swan by one-third, which would give a built-to-tail length of about 190 to 210 centimeters, 75 to 83 inches. It's an extinct species of dwarf elephant from the Middle Pleistocene of Sicily and Malta. It is amongst the smallest of all dwarf elephants at only 1 meter 3.3 feet in height. A member of the genus Paleoloxodon, it derived from a population of the mainland European straight-tusked elephant Paleoloxodon antiquus. It's a genus of large extinct elephant-like proboscidean that appeared in the Middle Miocene and survived until the early Pleistocene. Although superficially resembling modern elephants, they had notably more flexible necks, limbs adapted to a more cursorial lifestyle as well as tusks that curved downwards and back. In addition, their tusks did not emerge from the maxilla as in elephants but from the mandible. Dimetrodon. It's a genus of non-mammalian synapsid that lived during the Cisuralian age of the early Permian period, around 295 to 272 million years ago. It is a member of the family Sphenicodontidae with most species measuring 1.7 to 4.6 meters, 5.6 to 15.1 feet long, and weighing 28 to 250 kilograms, 62 to 551 pounds. The most prominent feature of Dimetrodon is the large neural spine sail on its back formed by elongated spines extending from the vertebrae. It's not megafauna, I have no idea why is it here. Dedicurus clavicaudatus. It's an extinct genus of glyptodont from South America. It was a rotund animal with heavy armor and a carapace. Averaging at an approximate 1,400 kilograms, 3,100 pounds, it was one of the largest glyptodonts to have ever lived. It notably sported a spiked tail club, which may have weighed 40 or 65 kilograms, 88 or 143 pounds, in life, and it may have swung this in defense against predators or in fights with other glyptodonts at speeds of perhaps 11 meters per second, 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour. Elasmotherium sibiricum it's an extinct genus of large rhinoceros endemic to Eurasia during late Miocene through the Pleistocene, existing at least as recently as 39,000 years ago in the late Pleistocene. It was the last surviving member of Elasmotherini, a distinctive group of rhinoceroses separate from the group that contains living rhinoceros. The two groups are estimated to have split at least 35 million years ago according to fossils and molecular evidence. In Bolotherium it's an extinct genus of Bronothere that lived in Mongolia during the late Eocene epoch. It is most easily recognized by a large bony protuberance emanating from the anterior of the skull. This resembles a battering ram, hence the name Embolotherium. The animal is known from about 12 skulls, several jaws, and a variety of other skeletal elements from the ulan Gachu formation of Inner Mongolia and the Urgeland Zoo of Outer Mongolia. Intelodon. Formerly called Elotherium is an extinct genus of entelodont artiodactyl endemic to Eurasia. Fossils of species are found in paleogene strata ranging in age from the Holginian, 37.2 to 33.9 million years ago, until the Rupelian epoch of the early Oligocene, 33.9 to 28.4 million years ago. It is one of four entelodont genera native to Eurasia, the other three being the primitive Eoantelodon of late Eocene China, Proentelodon of Middle Eocene Mongolia and the gigantic Perientelodon of Mid to Late Oligocene Central Asia. Girinodonquasus. It's an extinct genus of toxodonted notungulate that lived from the late Miocene and early Pliocene in what is now Brazil and Colombia. This animal was approximately the size of a modern rhinoceros, and they were similar in build as in appearance. Like most of its close relatives, its size was substantially larger than any other mammal in its habitat. Homo habilis. It's an extinct species of archaic human from the early Pleistocene of East and South Africa about 2.31 million years ago to 1.65 million years ago. Upon species description in 1964, it was highly contested, with many researchers recommending it be synonymized with Australopithecus africanus, the only other early hominin known at the time. Homotherium e denotherium. It's an extinct genus of Macarodontine scimitar toothed cat that inhabited North and South America. Eurasia, and Africa during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs from around 4 million to 12,000 years ago. In comparison to his Melodon, the canines of Homotherium were shorter, and it was probably adapted to running down rather than ambushing prey. Yainailurus. It's an extinct polyphyletic genus of Hyanalarid hyenodont that lived during the early to middle Miocene, 
of which there were at least three species spread across Europe, Africa, and Asia. It walked with a semi-digitigrade stance and was probably capable of large leaping bounds. It was among the largest hyenodonts that existed. Inectinus pernambucensis. It's an extinct species of the suborder Pleurodira of the family Bothromididae. This species lived 62 million years ago, during the Paleocene, in the coastal regions of what is now the state of Pernambuco, Brazil. Its fossils were found at Pedrera Poti, a limestone mine located in the municipality of Paulista, Pernambuco. Its name means, Queen of the Sea of Pernambuco. Liviata Milvie. It's an extinct genus of macroraptorial sperm whale containing only this species. The genus name was inspired by the biblical sea monster Leviathan, and the species named by Herman Melville, the author of the famous novel Moby Dick about a white bull sperm whale. It is mainly known from the Pisco formation of Peru during the Tortonian stage of the Miocene epoch, about 9.9 .9 to 8.9 million years ago. Megaloceros gigantes. Also called the giant deer or Irish deer, is an extinct species of deer in the genus Megaloceros and is one of the largest deer that ever lived. Its range extended across Eurasia during the Pleistocene, from Ireland to Lake Baikal in Siberia. The most recent remains of the species have been radiocarbon dated to about 7,700 years ago in western Russia. Megantherium. It was a genus of prehistoric Macarodontine saber-toothed cat that lived in North America, Eurasia, and Africa. It may have been the ancestor of Smilodon. The animal also ranged into southernmost China, as a mostly complete skull from Sabertooth Cave in Chongzhua indicates though it seemed to have been rare in most of Asia because it was ill-adapted to closed forest environments. Myolania black six. It's an extinct genus of myelaniid stem turtle native to Australasia throughout much of the Cenozoic. It was a large turtle, with the shell alone ranging from 0.7 to 2 meters, 2 feet 4 inches to 6 feet 7 inches in length. Four species are currently recognized, although the validity of two of them is disputed. It was first described as a species of lizard, but the continued discovery of additional fossils solidified its placement as a kind of turtle. Meritarium e Basilosaurus. It's an extinct genus of primitive proboscidans. These prehistoric mammals are related to the elephant and, more distantly, sea cows and hyraxes. They lived during the Eocene epoch. It was a rotund semi-aquatic mammal with short, stubby legs that lived about 37 to 35 million years ago. Its body shape and lifestyle demonstrate convergent evolution with pigs, tapirs, and the pygmy hippopotamus. It's a genus of large predatory prehistoric archaeocete whale from the late Eocene, approximately 41.3 to 33.9 million years ago. First described in 1834, it was the first archaeocete and prehistoric whale known to science. Fossils attributed to the type species Becetoids were discovered in the United States. They were originally thought to be of a giant reptile, hence the suffix saurus, ancient Greek for lizard. The animal was later found to be an early marine mammal. Paraceratherium. It's an extinct genus of hornless rhinoceratoids belonging to the family Paraceratheriide. It is one of the largest terrestrial mammals that has existed and lived from the early to late Oligocene epoch, 34 to 23 million years ago. The first fossils were discovered in what is now Pakistan, and remains have been found across Eurasia between China and the Balkans. Pelibrotherium tropicalis. It's an extinct meridialestidin, and the sole member of the family Pelagrothoriidae, from the Paleocene of Patagonia, originally interpreted as a stem ungulate. Its remains have been found in the Salamanca Formation. It was a dog-sized mammal, among the largest of all dryolestoids, and closely related to mesungulateids. A recent phylogenetic study finds it to be the sister taxon to Reagitherium. Foberum spatersoni. It's an extinct rodent that lived in the ancient Orinoco River Delta around 8 million years ago. It was the second largest of the roughly seven species of its genus. Like many other rodents, it was a herbivore with high-crowned premolars and molars. An almost complete skeleton was discovered in the Urumaco Formation at Urumaco, Venezuela, in 2000. It is named after the paleontologist Brian Patterson. Latibello Don Grangeri is was part of an extinct genus of large herbivorous proboscidean mammals related to modern-day elephants placed in the shovel-tusker family Amebolodontide. Species lived during the Middle Miocene epoch in Africa, Asia, and the Caucasus. They were previously believed to have fed in the swampy areas of grassy savannas, using their teeth to shovel up aquatic and semi-aquatic vegetation. However, where patterns on the teeth suggest that they used their lower tusks to strip bark from trees. Codocetus 
It's an extinct genus of protoceded early whale known from the Lutian of Pakistan. The best known protoceded, Hothocetus is known from two partial skeletons that taken together give a complete image of an Eocene whale that had short limbs with long hands and feet that were probably webbed and a sacrum that was immobile with four partially fused sacral vertebrae. It is one of several extinct whale genera that possess land mammal characteristics, thus demonstrating the evolutionary transition from land to sea. Chitain is valid. It's a terror bird, an extinct family of large, predatory birds, in the order Cariamiformes that inhabited the United States during the Pliocene and earliest Pleistocene. The first fossils were unearthed by amateur archaeologist Benjamin Waller from the Santa Fe River in Florida and was named by ornithologist Pierce Broadcorb in 1963. Ismilodon Populator it's a character from the movie Ice Age 2, directed by Carlos Saldana. Titanoboa serijonensis. It's an extinct giant snake, from the family that includes all boas and anacondas snakes that lived in what is now La Guajira in northeastern Colombia during the middle and late intervals of the Paleocene. It was originally known from purely thoracic vertebrae and ribs, but later expeditions collected parts of the skull and teeth. It could grow up to 12.8 meters, 42 feet, perhaps even 14.3 meters, 47 feet long and reach a body mass of 730 to 1,135 kilograms, 1,610 to 2,500 pounds. Uromachia. It's an extinct genus of xenarthran mammals belonging to the order Pelosa. Its fossils have been found in the north of South America, in the Urumico Formation in the Falcon State, in Venezuela. The only described species is U. robusta.